welcome to another Doctor Who classic series action figure review. Today I am looking at the latest Forbidden Planet Underground Toys exclusive release, which is the Cast Revolver set. So, here we have the Master's TARDIS as the column. Um, it's quite tall, as you can see. It's, this, you know, it's the same sort of size as my TARDIS walls at the back of the at the back there. Um, it's actually really nicely done, I have to say. I really like it. Um, it's been cast in a sort of a tan brown colour with uh, a dark wash over the top. Um, if I just sort of zoom in a bit at the top, it's got a very nice sort of stone texture to it, um, which is really nice as well. They could have just made it smooth and just painted it, um, but the uh, the stone effect works really well and it feels very good. You know, you can feel like the cracks and the um, sort of weathered down elements on the sides as well. So that's really nice. Um, and also around the side, this, there's a line cut into the, into the side. Um, and that goes all the way around in sort of a smaller rectangle. And that's just supposed to be the door to the TARDIS, I guess. Um, which isn't something you see in the program, but is a nice uh, little touch there. You know, the master's got to get inside it somehow. Um, and that's it, really. It is rotocast, um, which means it is hollow. As you can see, there's a big hole in the bottom. You can put your finger in it. Um, so, obviously, cheap to produce because it's rotocast, um, or cheaper to produce. Um, and, you know, it's handy, obviously, if you're doing animations, you can uh, use it for that. Um, not just as the Master's TARDIS, but as just bits of set. Um, and obviously now you can put it with your Anthony Ainley Master. Um, so, you know, that's quite nice. The Fifth Doctor. So basically, this version of the Fifth Doctor is the variation we see later in Part 1. Um, just as he's sort of, he's walked into the TARDIS, uh, and he walks off into the, in, through the console room, into the back of the room, uh, into the corridor, and, uh, then you see him pulling the scarf apart, and that's basically what this represents, this is Peter pulling his scarf apart. Um, the scarf, however, is intact, it's exactly the same as the one that came with the previous Regeneration Fifth Doctor, and with the Season 18 Fourth Doctor. Um, personally, I would have preferred if the scarf was maybe, you know, chopped off and looked like it had been frayed, that he had been pulling it apart. I think it would have made this figure slightly more interesting, rather than, uh, you know, just repackaging a figure with a new head, because as soon as you take the scarf off, it is basically the uh, fourth Doctor figure that we saw from the Keeper of Trakens set, uh, just with Peter Davison's head on top, from the previous regeneration figure. Uh, as you can see, because the hair's different, he's got that... Uh, that gap, if my camera wants to focus, at the bottom for the scarf to fit snugly underneath. Um, the paint apps on my Peter's face, um, they're not too bad. Uh, he does look, at, his eyes look a bit skew with. Um, but, you know, it's not really a figure that I would ever use in animations, and it's not a figure that I'm overly fuss with if it was something like the Joe Grant figure that's coming out and she had mangled eyes I'd be a bit more peed off. Um, obviously the articulation is, uh, as I said, if you've seen the Keeper of Truck and review, the head can do a 360, ball jointed shoulders, which is assuming they can go out to the sides and forward and back. Uh, he has bicep articulation that can do 360s, elbow articulation, elbow, uh, elbow articulation to allow his arm to go up and down there, uh, 360s at the wrist. Uh, he does have articulation at the waist as well, hip articulation that goes forward and out to the side, uh, and articulation at the knee, and he has shin articulation uh, where the boots cut off. So, pretty much the standard. If you've got the Keeper of Trocadon set, you know what you're getting with this. Um, like I said, I would have liked that the scarf had been frayed or something, just to make it a bit more interesting. Um, obviously, something I haven't pointed out. Um, oh, and of course, you know, the details on it are very nice. 
The waistcoat's done very well. The question marks on the shirt. You know, it is a nice figure. Um, obviously, like I said in the previous Fifth Doctor Regeneration figure, uh, he's not wearing the socks and shoes. He's wearing the boots, um, which obviously isn't how it is in the program. Um, but technically, he should be wearing the boots anyway, seeing as Tom had the boots on when he regenerated and then Peter was wearing the socks. Um, so... Yeah, I mean, I I would have preferred the shoes and socks, but I can live with the fact that they've given him the boots. But, you know, overall, I think if you haven't got the original Regeneration Fifth Doctor that came out as a single release, um, you may want to track this down. Obviously, it's not the same figure, but it's very similar. You probably see this version of Peter more in that story than you do uh, the original release. And, of course, you're getting the Master's TARDIS with it as well, so it might be uh, worthwhile tracking it down if you've missed if you've missed that original figure. And last but not least, he does come with a special accessory, which is this. Um, this is uh, not from Castrovalva, but a, a, a nice little extra. This is a shrunken Logopolitan figure. Um, basically, it's from Logopolis. It's uh, one of the Logopolitans that... Um, the master shrinks in that story. Um, could have done with a bit of gold paint on it, really, just to differentiate it. But uh, you know, it doesn't look too bad as it is. Um, it's a nice little, uh, you know, little extra, just to give you a sense of how tiny he is. There he is, up to Peter's head. So I mean, in the program, they did just use like Action Man dolls and dress them up. So you know, that's the. That's what they were going for with the size. Um, yeah, no, I, I quite like this. I think this is a nice little extra. Obviously, you can't really do much with it, but, you know, it's just... Uh, just something added <laughs> towards the set. Um, so, overall, what do I really think about this set? Well, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I remember when I first saw the pictures, I thought it was going to be... I thought it was crap. But, basically, we were getting... Um, Obviously, it's strange that we're getting Peter with the Master's TARDIS. Um, and, of course, it's really... It's not even a new figure. It's not... Well, it's only a, a rehashed figure, you know. You're just getting a, a head swap and the scarf. Um, so I wasn't overly enamoured with this set, I have to say. Um, however, um, when you compare it to what the original plan was, which was to release the Master in... Um, the planet of the planet of fire figure basically the planet of fire master was going to come with this um, TARDIS which would have made even less sense because obviously he doesn't wear that costume in with this TARDIS um, and it would have just been a re-release of a figure that we already got um, I'm glad that they went with this route because at least with this we're getting a, a new variant so it is something new on the shelf. It's not that we're just getting double double figures, which I really don't like. Um, however, it was going to come with an open and closed tissue compression eliminator, which I am a bit disappointed that we didn't see this in, that, in this set. It would have been nice if they'd have packaged the TCE with Peter Davison. Um, obviously, it would have been weird, but, you know, they put the Logopolitan in it, um, you know, and other toy lines like the Masters of the Universe Classics, they mix and match things, they'll release accessories with completely different characters um, that are meant for a completely different figure, just so, you know, the fans get those, uh, get those items in some way. So, like I said, overall, I think if you haven't got the Regeneration Fifth Doctor that originally came out in the coat, uh, maybe this is a set worth tracking down because obviously you're getting um, a very similar figure and of course you're getting the Master's TARDIS as well and the Logopolitan. Um, and it's only £20. So, you know, for £20 that isn't bad. When you consider that a single figure on its own is about 15 quid, um with the TARDIS as well, £20, it isn't that bad. Um, so, overall, it's an okay set if you haven't got that. I mean, obviously, I'm only really getting it for the TARDIS, because the TARDIS is cool and the Ligopolitan's quite nice as well. Um, but, you know, it's, it's not too bad, so, uh, you know, you may want to track, the, you may want to pick this up, but um, 
it is it is an easy miss really. Um, so thanks for watching this review, guys. Uh, I know it's only a very quick one, but there's not really an awful lot to say on this set. Um, next week I'll be reviewing the Pyramids of Mars Mars set, um, which is the first half of two Pyramids of Mars sets uh, that are coming out. And that includes um, the two uh, Osiron, service, Osiron service robots um, of Horus, the Guardians on Mars. And it also comes with Sutek uh, with his jackal head as seen at the end of the story. So thanks for watching this review and I shall see you next week when I review the Pyramids of Mars. Mm -hmm.